Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to the Hand Physics Lab Overview. So we're getting another side quest baby. I do remember the days where side quest was just some irrelevant thing in the beginning that was just to try out stuff, you know? And now with App Lab and just games transferring to the official store, it's just so cool to see the whole development like before your eyes when the right projects with the developers that really put so much work into their applications and seeing it pay off at the end of the day. I love to see stuff like that. Hand Physics Lab is, I guess, considered a puzzle game but essentially it's like a bone works of hand tracking it's the most advanced application to date to utilize the spectrum of mechanics with your hands not talking about basic stuff like you know picking up things touching stuff like that here we have so much going on that if you're a fan of just physics stuff it's very hard to get bored because there's so much to do last time i played this i was i believe about one year ago so coming into it now i'm very curious how advanced it got over the course of the year because hand tracking by itself got better because of all updates we got from oculus and knowing this application from that time it's kind of hard to imagine what state i will try out now trailer shows some crazy stuff that i didn't not see like why is there a cat why is there another person why are there guns like i'm a fan of hand tracking technology in general although i wish we would start getting some actual story games with hand tracking like so far we've only got physics based applications and just basic stuff like the last hand tracking game i very much enjoyed it was hand spell I remember. It was essentially like an RPG turn based spell casting game and that was very fun. But I imagine putting a budget towards this technology at this stage still will not like hugely benefit Oculus in general. So I can't really expect like huge stuff right now. But I wish in the future we were gonna have something like that, you know? Something flagship for hand tracking experience because it is fun using your hands, you know? Especially in hand physics lab because you really do everything with your hands and some crazy stuff like cutting fingers and stuff like that. So should be interesting. One year after the actual gameplay from me. Don't know what to expect, so let's see. Put your hands here. Calibration. Oh, what's this? <laughs> the music. Of course. 85 things completed, 7 unlocked. Huh. I guess this game has some sort of progression system now then. I'm sitting down though. I'm 181. Preferences, right hand, first or third perspective. Oh, wow, that's very weird. I see my hand, but also, what? No, no, first. Oh, wow, oh, I was so weird. <laughs> like, that's my, like, first experience as a kind of third-person hand-tracking just perspective. I mean, this game is a pioneer of new stuff, like, new experiences, so I'm not surprised that there's an option that I've never seen. <laughs> Grab the spheroid. The yellow ring indicates it will auto-snap to your hand. Ah... Oh, like that, okay, with full hand. Flip your palm up, slide down the disc to expand the hand UI. Oh, wow! We have hand UI, nice! Okay, well, it's been a while, one year, so we have new stuff here now that I don't really know what's happening. Separate modes now, we have sandbox when we play freely, and puzzles actually. Let's do maybe puzzles for now, maybe like one, two or something. Press the button. Just push the big red button. This is like cubism level of kind of challenges, I would assume. Let's see. <laughs> the music is just like if you're doing YouTube videos you know this free kind of royalty stuff press the button yay one star because <laughs> I just took my time <laughs> more buttons oh, I had to press it in order or something apples so wait do I just grab and then put in the ball oh shit no what the? Stay in place. Mm. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna be getting one stars everywhere. Finger painting. Ooh. Tip, tip, tip. Yeah. Yeah. And just. Painty, painty. <laughs> Edges, edges, blue was on this finger. Shit! Why did I put blue on this little... Okay, and yellow was middle. Yeah, I'm a master of precision, don't worry. Get it in! Okay. Cubes. Okay, so we're just putting here... 
What the hell is this music? It's really like this your royalty free stuff. Okay. It's easy stuff, but like, you know, with hand tracking, it's kinda like you do simple things. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do sandbox then. I just uh, wanna see like things that I've not seen so far. I'm very interested in this cat or whatever. Like, I have no idea what's going on with this cat. Collect 200 stars. <gasps> no! For sandbox, we have to collect stars? Aww. I thought it's instant access. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's gonna be like a reward for things. Okay, so I'm just gonna play puzzles then. I guess till 10 is gonna be sufficient. I mean, no. So, yeah, I guess we have to turn. I mean, fall. I forgot the expression. <laughs> yeah, three stars. Hand painting. Tashi, tashi. Yeah, just. But get it in! <laughs> ah, yes. Sliding cubes. Okay. I love that you have now levels with actual goals to do. Precision. Got it. Like, you have a purpose of just playing it now. I'm not very really good with sandboxes, like, at all, so I'm happy that I know what to do, like, now. Oh, I have to put it in position. Oh god, oh, god damn it. <laughs> What's this thing? Oh my god. A perfect man something. I don't remember the expression. Weighted cubes. Oh wow. Give this! I have to grab it even. <laughs> oh yeah, I can just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. That works. Okay. <laughs> oh, an egg? What the hell is this? New egg found. I guess this is an additional kind of objective as well. Okay, I think we unlocked at least one thing in the sandbox then. Board. Nice. Just that. Oh, grab it. No, no, no. Here we are. Uh, uh. No. <laughs> Okay, I wrote Dave, but I mean, my handwriting is shit by itself, so it's not gonna be better in VR at all. It's actually kinda close to the real life, I mean, that's how I wrote in the bakery. Yeah, that's my handwriting, very accurate. Okay, well, since we can't try out the cat, because there's too many stars to complete it, I'm gonna pass it on then, but I was interested. I know this game is great, if we're talking about just the mechanics with hand tracking, like, this is the best one out there for sure. And now it's, we have puzzles and just like kinda purpose for progressing through the game. I actually really like this, so we have other objectives as well, like finish in third perspective, finish with controllers. Yeah, because in third perspective, I assume it's like very much different. Like, it's weirder seeing how the game kinda revolves, so... No surprise, it's good. I don't know if I should do a whole playthrough of it, per se. It's welcome on the official store. Congrats to the developer.